Okay, so I know that this is totally random, but I wanted to do um, an updated favorite palettes or actually correction palette collection since I did my last because I got a couple of extras and I wanted to share them with you. Before I started YouTube, this was the only palette that I owned and um, I still have it and it's really old. Let me open it up actually. It's actually, I want to say, it's, yeah, it's, it's old. <laughs> I actually don't use it. I keep it just for, because this is kind of what started everything. Um, this is, I want to say, 10 or maybe even older than 10 years old. But that was like my first real palette. It's only six colors, so I joined YouTube and then this is what happened. <laughs> so these are this is it shouldn't be in here really. Um this was kind of like a they won this. I'll just show you from a giveaway, but oh gosh. I think I've used it once. So it's really pretty. gonna be a lot of that in this video so get one for Urban Decay 3. I need to use this more. And this this lighting isn't really giving it doing it justice so just keep that in mind. I need to use this one a lot more because I don't use them enough. Um this was my first palette that I kind of learned on um BH. I've used it so many times and it's just so I think I've had this for like three and a half years or something. Um, it's a good palette to like learn, start out on because you have to build up the colors. But um, I don't really go to it as much, go grab it as much anymore because I got spoiled with palettes such as um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So there's that. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then this one. I actually like the Ambrosy better than this one. This one's okay. And then I have the Tarte Mermaid. Um, I've actually used some of the colors in this quite a bit. If I could just open it with one hand, it's so hard to open this one. It's probably not going to work. Oh, get it across. Um, it's really pretty, actually. And then I have the... This is Card Candy Metals. Again, a lot of these like old, older, cheaper palettes I got when I was learning kind of like how to use makeup in the beginning um, with the BH and this one here. Um, this was a um, contour palette that I used to use a lot. I don't have the brush for it anymore, but I haven't used it in a long time, but I still really like it. So, I have to remember that I have this and use it. It's Maybelline. I use this one a lot now, the Morphe Contour. Here it is. As you can see, I do use it a lot. Um, James Charles, I haven't been able to really dig into this as much as I want to. I mean, I've dug into it, but not as much as I would like to. There's that. And then, of course, I have both Jaclyn Hills. just amazing. I've fallen deeply in love with this palette. And then I just, of course, had to get this one because that's what's up. Um, <laughs> I've noticed that I'm very fond of Morphe. Um, I don't know if that's just, it just so happens to be that way. <laughs> so anything I have multiples of, that'll tell you, it'll tell you how much I like it. Like, for example, I've got like four Morphe brands here. And I only got two on um, ABH. It means I like ABH, but I like Morphe better. <laughs> I'm not notice. I'm not dissing ABH. I mean, I like Urban Decay. I need to practice with this more. I got this early in my makeup, um, my eyeshadow. Um, I was learning eyeshadow. I got it too early in, so I can't really say on this one. Same with this one. Um, I got it fairly early in. When I was learning kind of like how to do 
colors like an alien palette and urban decay so those are two that i kind of really want to play around with a little bit more before i can fully judge them and um you know decide if i want to continue purchasing those <clears throat> those <clears throat> those brands at least for eyeshadows i know i love urban decay foundation color pop was a gift and i would actually purchase color pop if i had a chance i think color pop is freaking awesome i think their products are beautiful um, their eyeshadows blend well. The performance is just ridiculous. Um, I will always love ColourPop. I've been tempted to buy ColourPop. I get tempted to buy every single one of their palettes every single time I see them come out. So um, There was this other hard candy that actually I, was, I didn't really care for because I don't know how to use these kinds of shadows. If anyone could help me, they're kind of smudgy and weird. So I don't know if you just use them in your inner corner or what, but I just cannot seem to get them to work right on top of shadows. As you can see, I have tried desperately and it's not working. So, yes. Um, this one I haven't really got a chance to use. I've used it a couple times. Um, I don't know. Again, I think I have to play with this one a little bit more to really give it a full... Um, a full uh, review to be totally honest um, here's a blush palette but I don't really use blush I've used the, I've used these blushes obviously but I don't really use blush I've used the crud out of this sleek silhouette palette um, my goodness I would actually get this brand again if I knew where to find it I'm actually just have to look it up I guess G highlight contour and blush shades, and last but not least, Sculpt and Glow. I love it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is beautiful. Um, this palette is I, again. I keep forgetting that I have these. I need to keep these out. Um, just so I can remember to use them. But um, that is the palette collection that I have now. I hope that this. Kind of, oh, it's all loud. <laughs> Helped you kind of relax and um, get an idea of where I've come from to where I am now. I would say a year from now I'll probably do another one of these videos and it'll be twice as much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, sleep well, and I will catch up with you soon.